Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today, back with another team comp video. This one is going to be kind of a different variant of the Nazoth builds we looked at before. I think the core of this build is just so very strong on its own. You can kind of mix and match some of the other pieces of it and try different things with it. So today we're trying out Mukla with it, as the plus attack actually has been very, very good for me on Mukla. You just, it gets out of control really fast when you're just throwing out five plus five attacks on himself and other things. So that's that's 25 attack every time he gets to swing, uh, just going on to your stuff. Now, initially when I was putting together this build, I was like, you know, I'm not sure with Nazoth and Kazakus being the leads, we only have one character that's attacking that actually gets these buffs, and the same thing for Kazakus's Wild Vine. But the nice thing about this is, at least with Kazakus, the extra HP is nice, but more specifically with the attack buffs, the attack buffs can actually go on our summons, like our Nazoth summons, and that's actually been pretty decent. And even if it does land on our regular units here, even though they can't attack, a lot of the greens running around in the meta are attack based, so they end up taking a lot of residual damage trying to kill our stuff. So even then, it's really not that big of a downside. It actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, the core of this build is definitely all the shadow units here. So we have Nazoth as our lead with the Eternal Torment for that regular damage. Uh, then Kazakus with Wild Vine. I have tried Mage Royale too. I think I like Wild Vine a little bit better, but. It's definitely kind of a personal preference there. Vol'jin off the bench is definitely much like in a bunch of other comps that use Vol'jin. It's just so, so good right now. It's, it really, there are games that can just be totally flipped around where you go from thinking you have no chance at all to winning the game because Vol'jin has insane synergy with speeding up and AoE damage. Um, and then Sylvanas, we really just need a good green, as we only have space for one, and she has that natural synergy. So these four are kind of the core here, and then the kind of slots you can try different stuff out with, I would say, are the Mukla and the Lokalar one here. Uh, I've really liked Lokalar in this build. It's especially nice because we have such a heavy blue lead, so if the opponent does lead with a Valera, kills one of our stuff, then we can swap into local R and kind of punish them a bit. And he's just so incredibly punishing against anything that's trying to go even remotely fast. Um, our build isn't actually that bad against local R because most of our characters are actually operating pretty slow, uh, except when we have Vol'jin out. So that's actually been pretty good. But yeah, this is a really fun build. If you enjoyed the build last time and wanted to try a little bit of something different with Nazoth here, this is definitely what I recommend. I've really been having a lot of fun with Nazoth, and he has definitely been doing, honestly, a lot better than I thought he would. Obviously, he is propped up a bit by some of the other powerful units here, but that's true of any Merc with a bunch of strong synergy. And since we have Shadow synergy, it just makes sense to go with all these Shadow units. But that is basically all there is for the comp here. We're going to get into some games with it. Before we do, if you enjoy this type of content, do remember to like and subscribe. Does a ton to help out the channel and keeps the mercenaries videos coming. Without further ado, let's get into the games. Ooh. Oh, I saw this. Uh, who was I watching the other night? I was watching someone stream the other night and they ran into this. It's like trying to be anti Trigor. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, so he has the pirate bench then. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to do one focusing on the pirates too. I was going to do the a different lead though. I think taunting makes a lot of sense here. Or do we, I think we want to hit the Mukla. I'm not really scared of the other things as much. The Mukla is going to give him some crazy scaling. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That's a big boy taunt right there. That's 30 damage. You know, I don't know if they'll give us patch notes that early or not. That'd be cool. I think they're going to hold them closer to the release, though. I think trailer Thursday. I think we're going to get a uh, a trailer for the mini set on Thursday and a release date. Which should be Wednesday. Everything goes according to plan. Yeah, exactly. If, if it's happening Tuesday, we'll know by Thursday, basically. Uh... Done. Yeah, well, big ones, I'm not sure. I have to look and see when they put out the patch notes for the other ones. Wow, he shrunk my golem. Or my Nizaw spawn. Wow, Guff lived at one. Yikes. Trades, though. And we're in a really good spot here against pirates, I think. Because now we can Kazakus and just start messing him up. So yeah, I'd have to go back and look and see when they release. Because I don't know if they put out the patch notes when they did the trailers or not. can't remember. There's Edwin. It's fine, though. We want to set up Nizoth to go off. Yeah... If this patch doesn't deliver, they're going to be some pretty big issues. I agree with you. Do we ever just transform? No, we probably just Shadow Claw. It's not a lot of damage, but it's something. The spawns here are annoying. We should probably just... It's better than doing nothing. This goes off at three speed, yeah. Job done. This is pretty silly, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the shadow damage, I forgot about that. This has worked out pretty well. No, the, the cap is six, right? Or did I only have five? Oh, I only had five. You're right, I did have room for another golem. Right, because I had these two. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I thought my board was full. Well, we taunt and we combo. Just start getting the damage done. Oh, the buzz is a little not great, but local are just absolutely wrecks his day. Yeah, nice. GG. These characters have leveled. <laughs> they should still fix coins, but like, give me something to do. Alright. Traditionally, we do well against Valir variants. Because we can make some, uh... We can make some... 
golems that are annoying for them to deal with. I think they do have a chance to kill the Nazoth if their first golem hits with Trigor. But it's a it's a tie where the Valyra goes. Oh wow, they Valyra first, so it goes on the Nazoth. That's unfortunate. They don't go in with the golems though. Unfortunately, we're still so weak that the Valyra still gets to get around our golems, but... <laughs> yes, I love that. I love that pasta. Uh, do I not have chat up? Let me get chat back up. Oh, I should probably make my moves. See, look, see? It makes it look like you can have seven spaces. See, we have six, and then, boom, seven. It fits. It fits on the board. It just won't happen. I'm not even attacking with the little golems, I don't think. Oh, maybe I should. Actually, this made things kind of awkward for me, huh? We're gonna do this. All right, that's fine. Probably Kaz, or not Kaz, Vol'jin. I mean, Localar is pretty good here too. What's this, five? No, seven. It's so slow. Uh, yeah, crafting legendaries before release is not a bad idea. It, uh, like, if you want to make it more likely that you get the new characters. So, I think it's pretty reasonable. What's that, three speed? Okay. Oh, my tracker isn't up. Or it is on stream, but it's not on my game. That's really weird. <laughs> Sometimes it gets buggy like that. Yeah, I mean, waiting for Patchnos also isn't a bad idea, because there's a chance we get characters buffed or nerfed or who knows. I don't think that's going to happen, or if it does happen, I think it's going to be buffs and not nerfs, but we just don't know. Yeah, just do it. Just decide before you open your packs, I guess, is the smart way to do it. We have the largest spawn of Nazoth I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Yeah, just buff Trigor. Okay, so now they're going very fast and they're going to get very punished for it, which is awesome. 
sucks this is at exactly 14. But oh well. They did win the flip. Doesn't matter a whole ton though. Oh, oh, no killing Valyria. Well, she dies anyway. And now Lokalar is gonna just murder the board. <laughs> Easy. This comp's actually doing pretty well. Let's see. So we're slowed. Summon the golems to buff the sylve. And then... Do this. I don't understand... Oh, I guess I do understand what speeding up does for them there. I don't know if it's right though. All right, so it's definably not right because they just lost. <laughs> Honest, that is in the meta right now is really Diablo. I think Diablo would probably do very well against this comp. Like the Diablo lead would be. Whoa. Oh. Uh, Shout out to Sam's Ram for bringing some spice today. I haven't seen Zwen played in PvP since like the first two weeks he came out. So this is pretty cool. Oh, we can steal. We can steal. Oh, we're so doing that. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but we're doing it. I've been wanting to be able to use this. Get stolen! Oh, and it blocks the Mukla! <laughs> mukla on Mukla violence. That is un uncool. We can do it again. We can steal the... This is really funny. Do we do it again? That gets our corrupted Basira online. This thing's really big though. What are its abilities again? Oh, it's not coming up. There it goes. All right, so it's four speed. So it'll be a tie with Kazakus whether it gets through or not. It's a little scary. Maybe little golems just for damage. And then we steal the divine shield. And we just taunt with the, the Mukla to block this. Oh, why are the golems small? Why are they three eights? Oh, they they got their attack stolen. Okay, we're just gonna spawn something from Nazoth then. I thought they were eight eights. Oh, we popped the shields too. I always forget about Nazoth's passive. Oh yeah, the lightning. That's really bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Don't hit Kazakus. Oh, it doesn't matter. Jesus. <laughs> wow. We're 
We're not out of it yet, but that was insane. You're one off of killing this though, which is like Omega yikes. We literally have to like snipe it with Silv, otherwise. Oh, we could do choose an enemy adjacent enemies attack it. We could do that. It's pretty good actually. I mean, I can't even be mad, you know? Like, that's just hilarious. I mean, this might be fine. There's a, we have a chance. So they're full nature. Let's see, do we just slow this Kazakus or the Mal? Probably the Kazakus and we can just kill it. We don't, actually, is this even that scary though for us? What is Kazakus really doing for them? Not a ton. So we probably just want to hit the mouth or hit them all with the AOE. Yeah, that big heal isn't really going to do a ton for them. Because we can just, like, pick things off with Sylv now. We have to respect this. Job done. I mean, maybe we respect the Brucon. Am I really that scared of them getting a local R golem? Yeah, last is Cookie for sure. So maybe I want to kill this then. Yeah, I think it's better to kill the Brucon. Ah. One off of killing the Kaz. But now we win. Because we can just zap our own Sylvanas. Right? That dies, that dies, that dies, this dies. Hey, Maritime Max. Thanks for the follow. Cool comp, though. I told you we weren't out of it. It's so silly you can do that. Yeah, I don't understand the route either. I think he was just trying to get as much damage as possible. Oh, they could have killed it before the souls. Hey, what's up, Izzy's? Good to see ya. Looks like a rematch. They swapped up their comp, though. I want to try your Murloc build, Izzy's, but you were using the... the speed-up Divine Shield freeze equipment, right? On Murky? Because I don't have that one done yet. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I like your build. It looks really fun. I want to try it, but I don't have the... the uh, my equipment's at, like, level 2. 
I'm going to try and finish the last two characters this week. I haven't grinded in forever. It's been a very long time. Oh, he could go for that, huh? Because they're both seven. It does. We're not that scared, though, because Nazoth gets rid of their divine shield. So it's not that scary as it normally is. And they also had the Muckla Bananas, so kind of worked out. I've really liked taunting in this matchup. What does Guff's death blow do? Huh. Yeah, he is running pirates. This is Crimson Panda apparently posted this build earlier today. I played him once before and we did beat this comp with this one. Yes, yeah, so they do get the death blow, which is a little unfortunate. But we get like a the shadow swapping is so backbreaking. What's that? Fourteen. Probably just another big boy golem. Protect against the pirates. I mean, it's going pretty well. Alright, so we know they have a Eudora, so we want to play around that by positioning better. Maybe we want Kazakus on the middle. Oh no, they don't have Eudora. I don't know why I thought they had Eudora. I was just thinking pirates. Big golem. Combo. Oh wow, we have zero speed. Oh, this is going to be disgusting. Are you guys ready for this? Look how much damage this is going to do. We don't even need to attack with those. Zero speed. This is going to be gross. And then we could actually do small golems, but I think the big golem is still better. No, my Nazoth is not max. Look at this. Boom. They're just dead. Shush. <laughs> Yeah. Whew, that was sweet. That was sweet. And if we do get a trial on Thursday, I'm definitely going to be doing like a uh, either a reaction or like an analysis of it to get an idea of what we can expect. It would be really cool if they involved uh, content creators with the first big Mercs reveal release thingy, but I have not heard anything about any of that kind of stuff so far, so. Alkali did mention a little while ago she did want to do more of that stuff, but who knows when that's going to happen. B 
Being a bit slower kind of works in this build versus local R. Although now we get snapped, don't we? No, their snap is eight. It's one off. So it worked out. It worked out. Oh no. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> I swear, dude, the RNG in this game is such horseshit. <laughs> Just yellow the snap. You always hit it. Ridiculous. All right, well, this is a speed tie. But we don't really have the luxury of uh, doing anything else here. Uh, it kind of sucks we lost Nazoth there, but whatever. Uh, we have to go for the Sylv now, I think. This might actually be wrong. Oh, it's Sin. I was expecting an Arcane Bench. Hmm. Interesting. So we just kill Sin here. Are we actually going to win this game after that really bad start? That would be pretty funny. Just get hard carried by Sylvanas Vol'jin. It looks like we are. <laughs> What's this come before 16? Yeah. Yeah. We get there. That's hilarious. Unreal. We won that game. <laughs> uh, so Nico, the MMR in Mercenaries is very weird. It's much more based on your internal MMR than the number that we see. 
so it depends if you've played before whatever you ended on last season will usually play an impact but for example i have a higher internal mmr from playing a bunch and climbing over the past couple months so even if i'm at zero rating i'll still get ranked with like 10 or 12k people so it really depends on what your internal is and unfortunately, there's not really a great way of finding that information out that I am aware of. Okay, I guess they can set up a snap on me, huh? I can go Jaina, Varden. Frost definitely is an enemy of this build, for sure. Um, There's not really that much we can do about it, though, sadly. I oh, know, Jaina would kill this, right? Yeah, Jaina would kill that. So they can't easily set up a snap. That's interesting. Okay, our guy dying there is actually really good for us. That makes a huge difference, actually, because now their taunt dies, and that means we get a, uh, a Vulgen swap in versus this, which should be really good. Oh, that's a pop, Jaina. You love to see it. You love to see it. This is actually going very well. Lich King? Alright, I see you, opponent, with the spice. Oh, we haven't gotten Snowball to ramp up yet. Alright, don't hit Jaina. Alright, that's fine. That's pretty good. Oh, Belinda just gets deleted, dude. Local R is a balanced character. I mean, look at that. That's so absurd. That's so absurd. He had two full health mercs. One of them died. The other one is almost dead. Absolutely insane. Eh, This comp has done really well. 
And it's been fun. I mean, it's very fun playing with Nazoth. I like Nazoth a lot. And Muckle. I really enjoy the big bananas. Easy. Didn't even need Sylvanas that one. So I actually went on a pretty sick streak with this comp on stream. We saw some Mimi stuff and we saw some meta stuff. So a nice little bit of variety there for once, which was great. I actually had a lot of fun playing this and uh, definitely going to be playing and streaming some more mercenaries uh, leading up to hopefully the launch of the next big drop next week. We will find out very shortly here if that's happening or not, most likely, as they should be putting up a trailer on Thursday for the mini set if it will be coming next week. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But if you're looking for a way to use Nizoth and you want something a little bit different, this is a really fun and I think effective way of putting him to work. Like the the Shadow Core is just so strong. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you can take these three units and Sylvanas and as long as you can find some other good reds or greens to balance out your comp with, you're going to have a good time. Like th this build is very, very solid. I don't even have my Nizoth maxed yet, um, but you really don't need him maxed for PvP. Really all you need, in my opinion, get the spawn of Nizoth up there, get Eternal Torment and Gift of Nizoth. This one only involves gaining health, so it really is not why we're really playing this ability. And then you don't need the other equipment quite as much as they're not as good, in my opinion, at least for these types of builds. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.